Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fantasy Football. It is time for game week 23 preview. Now before we get on to that week, I know we got a lot of things to talk about. Harry Kane, uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Song. So there's a lot of transfers that needs to be made for game week 23. Now before we get on to that week, I just need to go through game week 22 and see how well my team did and my thoughts on that week. Also, on Saturday, I'm going to be live streaming. Um, not for one hour, for like a couple of hours actually. Um, I'm going to start on YouTube. Uh, I don't know what time yet, so I'll announce that later on on my community and on my Twitter account. Um, basically, I was thinking to live stream on, uh, on YouTube first. Um, talk to you guys about transfers and stuff like that. And then later on, I'll move it to Twitch where I can play any kind of game and you guys can join me. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Plus, there's three o'clock games as well. Maybe we can all spam in the chat and see who scored and who assisted and stuff like that. I think it'll be fun. Um, if you're up for it, uh, yeah, just uh, the link will be in the description below for my Twitch account. Okay. So, as you can see, for game week 22, I've got 73 points. It is above the average of 49, which is fantastic. And I think I gained around 10k, which is amazing. So, I'm around 28,000. Now, I spoke to a lot of FPL managers on Twitter and they told me, just be patient, um, just, you know, try not to take too many risks and, you know, you still got your chips and you definitely will get a good rank at the end of the season if I don't mess it up. So, I'm going to try my best to take it easy and see where I go. As you can see, I've got Patrizia here with three points. Now, I didn't really expect him to, to get anything in this game against Manchester City. Um, so yeah, three points is better than two, I guess. Lucas Dean, I spoke about this guy so many times. Now, I did a lot of eye tests, so I watched Everton play, I watched him. A player that is a defender taking corners and free kicks, that just screams points. So, 12 points, lovely cross to Zuma, keeping that clean sheet as well, maximum bonus points. Now, we've got David Luiz, eight points i did not expect him to, to get another assist and got that maximum bonus points as well now i removed alonso to bring him in because i wanted that cash and it actually worked out really well for me um van dyke seven points i mean one bonus points i'll take it i know robertson done really well uh and i should have really went for robertson but he's a little bit more cheaper than robertson and plus, I can see him getting a lot of points um, throughout the weeks coming. Um, we've got Wamba Saka here with four points. No assists, no clean sheet, not even a goal, no nothing. But still manages to get that bonus points. Amazing. Probably one of the best players that you can own this season. So, I had two free transfers. And I, I made one. I removed Martial and I bought in Paul Popper. Paul Popper got an assist. Martial got removed early as well. Um, so I did that because I want a Manchester United player that plays up to 90 minutes. And this was the guy. I should have I should have bought him before, but these things can happen. Um, Felipe Anderson, three points. Do you know what? He actually played really well. Um, I kind of said that Arsenal and you know West Ham you know they got a lot of history together and being in London Derby as well anything can happen West Ham actually beating Arsenal was a little bit of a shock Arsenal just could not create a lot of chances that was the problem Richarlison with two I don't know what you guys think but I think it might be time for him to go this run here is not good enough. Yes, he is cheaper than most players. But I feel like I've got the chance right now to upgrade him to something really good. And Hazard with 5 points. Few people captained him. I can understand why. I didn't go for a captain like option for him because he hurt me last game week. And I don't want to I don't want to feel that pain because he does really it is very painful. And Salah. Reliable penalty. Yes, you can question the penalty, but for FPL, we do not care. I'm pretty sure you don't care as well if you got him in your team. 11 points, maximum bonus points as well. I think from him, 
for him to take a penalty is giving him a high chance to get more bonus points. And as you can see, Kane is injured, lost. So Spurs lost against Manchester United 1-0. And yeah, two points from him. And he's going to be out until March. So if you got Harry Kane, you need to remove him. You cannot put him on the bench because of his price tag. 12.6. You don't know what's going to happen. There might be some setbacks. You do not know, guys. Even if it says March, I think it's time for him to go. Um, now, what I'm going to do is quickly go through game week 23. And I'm going to give you guys a few uh, transfer options as well. To kind of cover uh, Kane, Son, uh, and Trent Alexander-Arnold. And then if I need to give you guys like a little bit more of a help, um, I'll definitely, definitely go through... Um, like a lot of players throughout the week and try my best to squeeze in the video just for um, different um, transfers, okay? So, for game week 23, I haven't made any decisions so far. I think I'm still waiting before I make any transfers. Although, Rashford's price is going up tonight, so I might make the move today by just removing Harry Kane and bring in Rashford. Um, so I'll go through my team quickly and what my plans are. Now, a lot of people's talking about the blank game weeks. Um, it looks like Manchester City could have a blank game week uh, in game week 27. So let's have a look. Game week 27 against Everton. So now I don't really want to talk about it too much because I want to gain a lot of information as well and help you guys as much as I can even though I'm not like professional I'm just gonna try right so I don't want to give you guys false alarms and stuff like that so I think next week we'll definitely definitely will be guaranteed to know exactly what's happening but for now we need to fix the issue now and the issues that we have in our teams now um so this is my team it looks kind of good um Salah being my captain uh, Crystal Palace could be a problem because Crystal Palace actually does well against Liverpool. Um, in defence, I'm looking here. Van Dijk looks good to go. Um, Luis, Lucas Dean, anything can happen here. Um, so I'm not really looking at my defence giving me the points. I'm more looking into my strikers. Well, my future strikers because I'm going to go through some of the transfers. Paul Popper's got good game. Um, Philippe Anderson against Bournemouth. Bournemouth concedes a lot of goals. Uh, even with Arsenal concedes this... I, I don't know what's going to happen. I can't predict this one. But Arsenal is still conceding. Salah. I can't see Crystal Palace scoring unless it's a penalty. I'm, I think it's time to get rid of Richarlison. I know it's a good game against Southampton. It looks good on paper, but Southampton actually playing really well recently. Uh, Raul Jimenez, good chance for him to get some points. So my bench is, you know, is okay, right? It's okay. I guess I can just change it like this because Bennett could get a clean sheet. So if I look at this team, I've got two free transfers. It's time for me to make them. So as for transfers, I'm going to give you guys a few options. Uh, to help you out with Harry Kane issue, Son, or even um, Trent Alexander-Arnold. Now, you let me know in the comments below which one of these or two um, players that I show is actually really good transfer. If you think that there is a another transfer that I missed out, just let me know in the comments because I'm only going to show a little bit, okay? Now, the transfers that I am thinking about is this. Removing Harry Kane... And bringing in, obviously, Rashford. Rashford's price is going to rise. His price might rise again by the end of this week. So, you know what? I might even make this transfer right now. So, we'll see what happens near the end. So, another option is bringing in a Manchester City player. I might just go without Manchester City players for now. Um, even their fixtures are decent. It's just that rotation that I do not like. So, I'm going to see what happens. I would like to get Sergio Aguero, but Jesus is just on form. And there might be some rotations. And trust me, guys, 
it's horrible when you bring a player that is expensive like Sergio and he only plays 40 minutes. That is not good enough. Look at this one, only 40. You know, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know who's going to play. That is the problem. I want a player that I think that is 90% or even 95% chance for him to play. Now, for that reason, I can do something else. Removing Kamara here and go for another Liverpool player. Like Firmino. Not many managers are thinking about bringing him in. I can totally understand. But it will be like a differential. I don't really want to spread my money um, to every single player. Because it's going to be difficult to kind of chip and chop and stuff like that. And try and get the money that you need to get another player. But these fixtures for Liverpool are fantastic. So... You know, the reason why people wanted to triple up on Liverpool's uh, Liverpool players and double up on Liverpool defence is because of these fixtures. Now, Trent Alexander is not going to play. He's out for one month. A lot of managers are thinking to get someone else. I'll go through some of the players in a sec. So, this is the transfer that I'm thinking to make. I know it doesn't really look attractive, I guess, but it's something different. I have two free transfers, then I have 0.2 in the bank, so I can make these transfers without taking a hint. Um, this will mean that I am removing an injured player and I am completely upgrading a player that I'm probably never going to play, that is Kamara. So that is two upgrades to my team. Yes, I'll have to make a decision or benching like Richarlison or Felipe Anderson or something, but I think... Is good for my team. Look at your team, see what you need, see what kind of upgrade you need as well, and fix that problem. And next player that I want to talk about quickly is Abamian. Yes, he's expensive, and this is probably a you know a good, nice, straight swap. Kane to Abamian. But the problem is Abamian's fixtures are not the best. Manchester City away is not good. This Chelsea game, but we don't know what's going to happen, right? Home games are giving them advantage. That's the key thing here. This Cardiff game, I am afraid of this game. I'm thinking to bring a Bamian later after this Manchester City game because these these fixtures here, I'm definitely looking towards to maybe even captain him. So these are some of the options, guys. These are some of my thoughts. Um, you know, I went through some of the midfielders here for Song. You can go for Paul Pogba. Um, even Felipe Anderson, he did really well, but the problem is, I think, is Anatovic. He's definitely thinking to go. Um, I can't really suggest anything else here except for Tottenham players. The problem is, we need to see at least one game to see what happens with Tottenham. Who's going to play up front? It looks like Deli Ali, I guess, but before, uh, I think this happened before when Kane was injured, Deli Ali was up front, but he also had. Um, sorry, they also had Song playing as well, but Song's not there as well. So, just see what happens with that. Um, as for defenders, you can go for another Liverpool player. Um, I think it's essential because I'm pretty sure they can keep a clean sheet because Milner will play uh, instead of Trent, probably. Lucas Dean, uh, yes, two aways, but they're not bad fixtures, actually. Um, you can go for David Luiz. Uh, let's have a quick look at the another defender here. Around 5, 5.7. Yep, Doherty here. Two back-to-back -to -back home games. A chance for Wolves to keep a clean sheet. Uh, so yeah, those are some of my options. Let me go through um, these teams. Let me go through some of these transfers again. And create you guys another video. If I can squeeze in another one, I will. Uh, because I want to gather a lot of information. Um, I just came back from work, so it's quite difficult for me to kind of sit and give you guys extra stuff. And yeah, I think that is about it. Actually, that's not it. Because I'm going to make my transfer right now. Oh, yes. I'm going to remove Harry Kane. 12 point. That's a lot of money. I've got two free transfers, and I'm going to make my move right now. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm going to bring in Rashford. This means I have 5 million in the bank. This, at least this back-to-back -back home games, are fantastic chance for Manchester United to give us a lot of points. And I'm going to do that 
right now. Done. And as you can see, this is my team. It looks actually fine. Um, Salah is going to be my captain. Vice is Paul Pogba. I can... I can make another move. You let me know what move I should do. Okay? I'll gather all these information. And then I'll probably hold my extra transfer to the end of the week. And I might even make a transfer on my live stream. So I'm going to wait... I am thinking to bring in Firmino. If I do, um, then I have Richarlison as my first bench. Then Kamara will be Firmino. I think this would be fantastic. I will still have money. If I have a quick look. Okay. I have. Okay. I thought I have lots. But 0 0.2. That's fine. Perfect amount as well. Or I can just remove um, Richarlison and get a power midfield. You let me know in the comments below what you think about that. And that is about it. Enjoy your weekend. Um, good luck for Game Week 23. You let me know what kind of moves that you're going to make. And yeah, follow me on Twitter. That's where I announce a lot of stuff. Subscribe. The membership is still open, guys. It's open all the time. It's just for you guys to support me. Uh, I'll definitely try my best to help you guys out as well. And give you guys my kind of feedback. And that is about it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.